So now you should have the double crochet stitch that you just, the next stitch is the front post double crochet stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches remaining. So now you're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. Don't forget this next stitch is the same stitch as the previous rows front post double crochet. So that's one. Next stitch is two. Then you're going to make, you can double check by here is going to be the last stitch. You're going to make a back um, double crochet decrease. One double crochet and the double crochet decrease. So you're going to make a double crochet decrease stitch next. Then you're going to make one double crochet then you're going to make one double crochet decrease and then that will leave you with one stitch remaining so you'll make one double crochet into the remaining stitch and this is how your pumpkin should be looking at the top so far. Then I'm going to go over the stitches with you, make sure that you have the same stitch count as me. So on this side I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eighth stitch is the front post double crochet. Now on the other side I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the next stitch is the front post double crochet. I have two stitches on the right, two stitches in the center, and two stitches on the left. I have 24 stitches total for the 11th row. Now we're ready to move up to the last row, which is the 12th row for the pumpkin. So just chain three, Turn your work and then you're just going to make one to one. So the next stitch will be one double crochet and then one double crochet into the next stitch. Let me see where I am. So one double crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches then I'm going to turn my work that will bring me to my next stitch, which is the previous row's front post double crochet. So I'm going to make a front post double crochet around the previous row's front post double crochet stitch. Then I'm going to turn my work back. I'm going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then you can make a back post double crochet 
in the next stitch or front post. If you're going to make a front post like me, I'm just going to turn my work. I'm going to yarn over, make my front post, double crochet, turn my work back around, one double crochet in the next two stitches. Turn my work, make my front post double crochet around the next stitch. Turn my work, one double crochet into one, one double crochet into two. Turn my work. That brings me to the next stitch, which is the previous row's front post double crochet. So I'm going to make a front post double crochet around that stitch. Then I'm going to turn my work. Make a double crochet into the next stitch. And then just make one double crochet into each of the remaining stitches and then come back. Now on that 12th row I just want to show you I accidentally skipped a stitch so I'm going to take out those remaining stitches and I can see here I did the front post double crochet and then I turned my work and as you can see after I turn my work back around, I still have that stitch. Don't skip that stitch right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven remaining stitches that you should have one double crochet into each of those seven stitches. So there's one, two, and then the rest of the stitches are easy to see. So don't skip that one right after your front post. You should have seven remaining stitches. Now I'm going to go over the stitch count with you. I just want to show you what your pumpkin should be looking like. This is what mine is looking like. So that was the twelfth row. And you should still have 24 stitches for that row. So on the other, on the right side I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches before I get to my front post. Then on the other side I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before I get to my front post double crochet. Then I have two, two, and two, and in the middle front post double crochet. Now we're ready to make our border around the pumpkin. So after you finish that last stitch on the twelfth row, we're going to start working down the side of the pumpkin first. Now along the side of the pumpkin you're going to see these double crochets that we made, those initial chain threes for each row turn. We're going to work in the gap right beneath the double crochet. So here's the double crochet and we're going to work in the gap beneath it. And we're just going to make single crochets into each of this, these gaps. So take your crochet hook, go into that gap beneath the double crochet, bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both loops for a single crochet. You're going to make one more single crochet into the same gap. And you're going to make two single crochet into each gap down the side. So now you're going to go into the next gap beneath the double crochet on the side and make two single crochet. So I'm going to make one more with you and then I'll let you finish up all the way down the side. Here's the next one. Two single crochet into the same space 
And then this is what your work will look like along the side. So go ahead, finish making two single crochet into each of those spaces. When you reach the bottom, come back. So this is what my work looks like along the side of the pumpkin, making two single crochet into every stitch to the bottom. Now, I just finished my two single crochet into that last space before turning to the bottom of the pumpkin. Now, you have one-to-one -one stitches. So there's first double crochet, second, third. You're going to make a half double crochet into that first stitch. So go ahead and yarn over, go into that first stitch with your crochet hook, bring up a loop, make your half double crochet, so yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through all three loop loops on the hook for a half double crochet. Since this is a corner, stitch, you're going to make one more half double crochet into the same stitch. So just yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three to complete your half double crochet. So you made two of them in that first stitch. Now you're going to make one half double crochet into each stitch along the bottom. So go into the next stitch and make your half double crochet. And then go ahead, finish making one half double crochet into every stitch across the bottom of your pumpkin. And then come back. So this is how my work looks so far. We finished working the single crochet down one side, turned the corner, and made one half double crochet all along the bottom. I have one stitch left. So you can see how I made a half double crochet here. I have one stitch left. I'm going to make two half double crochet into that last stitch. I have a loose yarn end on this stitch, so I'm going to be working behind the loose yarn end to bury it. So two half double crochet into the corner stitch, just like we did on the other side. Then you're ready to turn your work to start working down the side, the opposite side of the pumpkin. So I'm going to make a single crochet into that first side, the gap beneath the double crochet on that side, going behind the loose yarn end, bring up a loop, make my single crochet. I'm going to make two single crochet into the same stitch. And then you just make two single crochet into every space beneath the double crochet along the side of your pumpkin. And then come back. So this is how it's looking on the front. I'm going to flip it back over. And this is how it's looking on the back. We finished the one side. We finished the bottom, we finished the opposite side, so now I'm in the top corner. I'm just going to work this with you. You work it the same way. Here's our first stitch along the top. You're going to make two half double crochet into that first stitch along the top. And then you're just going to make one half double crochet into each of the remaining stitches. When you get to the last stitch, come back and I'll work the last stitch with you. So one half double crochet in every stitch back across the top. So this is what my stitches look like across the top. And I have one stitch left on the end. I'm going to make two half double crochet into that same stitch. Then I'm going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch. I 
and then I'm going to finish off. So just yarn over and then pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And this is how your pumpkin looks so far. Looks good. Now on the wrong side, you could take your loose yarn end, put it onto your tapestry needle, and just bury it onto the wrong side of your work. So I kind of just weave it in and out until it's nice and buried. Then I take and cut it. Now I'm going to show you how to make this stem. And I just used my acrylic yarn, but you can stay with 100% cotton yarn if you want to. So just take your brown colored yarn and you're going to fold it over on itself to form a loop. I'm still using the same size crochet hook. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for your slip knot. Go ahead and cinch down the slip knot and the loop around your hook. And you're going to make a chain. So I'm going to make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to hold that last stitch with your middle finger and thumb, make a chain of three, one, two, three. That's going to count as your first double crochet for the next row. Now you're going to make a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, which is the stitch that you're holding. Go ahead and yarn over, go into the fourth chain from the hook, bring up a loop, make your double crochet, then you're going to make one double crochet into each of the remaining stitches and that should give you a total of five double crochet for the row. So you can see how I have five double crochet. The chain three on the end counts as one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to move up to the second row. Go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. Make a double crochet into the next stitch over. and then one double crochet into every stitch back across. So that means that you'll have a total of five double crochet for the second row as well. You can make your stem as large as you want. I'm going to make mine one more row, so chain three. Turn my work, make one double crochet in every stitch back across for the third row, and I'll have a total of five double crochet on the third row as well. Then I can go ahead and finish off. So just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the stem onto the pumpkin. Before you sew your pumpkin stem on, just bury your loose yarn end. After you buried your loose yarn end, go ahead and take your tapestry needle and place it onto the long end that you left for sewing, or just get the same colored yarn as your stem. And then you're going to place the stem right at the top where you made your half double crochets 
right up to the start of your front post double crochet. Just lay it right on top and then just sew the bottom of the stem to the pumpkin. You just go in and out sewing the stem to the pumpkin. Then on the back you just take and tie a knot Then you can take and just bury the loose yarn end. And then once it's nice and buried, go ahead and trim it. This is the back side or the wrong side. And then this is the front side of the pumpkin. Now you're ready for your leaf.